<laughs> Most people may me not believe in love I wanna marry him Most people may me wanna give up I wanna breathe for him Happy 5 a.m. club. 5 something, maybe 5 15, 5 16. I accidentally woke up because I was having this dream. And then there was like a bug at the back of my head. And I was like, shh, shh, shh. and I tried to move it. And then I realized it was a wasp. And for some reason, I was like this in the dream. But I was like, I don't know how that kind of made me come to reality because I was like, there is no fucking way I'm going to reach and touch a wasp. And what if I hit the wrong part and I like get bit and die? Ooh, this does not look fully cooked. Microwave to this, it said 45 seconds. It's the spinach egg something frittata. This is Chai. Somebody at my job yesterday said. I was Indian in the past because <laughs> I was like saying how someone asked me what I drink is my favorite drink and I was like chai extra chai um, caramel drizzle extra cinnamon extra cinnamon dolce um, and this dude who is Indian he was like and it was three of my Indian coworkers sitting there and he was like I was Indian in the, um, in the past, and I laughed, and I was like, whoa, don't say that. They're going to cancel me. Don't say I'm racist. Um, and he was like, this has nothing to do with race. Like, he said something about, like, no, I was just making a joke. It has nothing to do with race. And I was like, can you not tell that I'm also joking? Like, how is it... <laughs> How is that possible that like it's banter bro like it's a back and forth thing i'm joking too that's why my tongue was joking who's gonna cancel me not y'all right so the they is outside right i'm aware that at some point in my life I will get canceled. I just know it. I just know it. Um. Anyways, bro. I was just like, but the joke was funny. Like, the fact that he said that I was Indian in the past, I think that's fucking hilarious. Um. Let me sneeze. A wasp waking me up is crazy in a dream because it was like five minutes before I actually had to wake up and I was just like, that's so annoying. Let me sneeze. <coughs> Excuse me, but I guess it was scary enough to wake me up and I did pray for God to wake me up at 5 a.m. I've been having a hard time staying in the club. In the club. Um, I'm kind of at that weird point where like, I'm noticing something like, oh my gosh, y'all, let me tell you this. I wrote this quote last night down because I was like, hmm, this is important. 
Watch this clip of this girl talking about her fitness journey, etc., etc. She was saying how, like, I wish somebody would have told me this at the start of my fitness journey that um, perfection is the. This is why I wrote it down because I can't remember it. Let me. Perfection is the enemy of progress. And um, that's. What did I lose my. Did that go away? Um, perfection is the enemy of progress. It's allergy season, y'all. I went to pick up my honey earlier. I was like, oh, I'll make, like, some honey tea and, like, freaking take in the local bees and be good, right? I look at my honey, it says, product of Brazil. I said, what? I said, what? I said, what? I said, that's not local. That is not some local fucking honey. Anyways, child. Anyways. Back to what I was saying. Actually, is an enemy of progress. So even while I was reading the 5 a.m. club, um, I'm not even fucking done. I have like 20 pages left. I told one of my coworkers um, about it. And he was like, oh my gosh, is it good? And I was like, yeah, like, do you want it after I'm done? And he was like, yeah, sure. I was like, cool, I'll use that as my motivation to finish the book. I have not used it. <laughs> I have not. I really have not. I haven't at all. <laughs> I read like a page or two after that conversation. Ever since, nothing. Um, what was I saying though? Oh yeah, perfection is ending of progress. So something I'm starting to notice is that that perfectionism and like the shame you know like the feeling of oh my god i didn't wake up at 5 a.m i'm such an asshole i suck i'll never be somebody that changes the world like oh and then you give up and you stop and you fucking go back eating it entirely like shit for six months instead of just half like shit you don't wake up early you feel like shit about yourself don't try anymore because why would i do that i know i'm gonna fail again um you know just kind of you lose all that momentum that you built up and you're trying to figure out how it was in the first place that you were disciplined for like three months in a row but now all of a sudden you just can't get yourself up out of the bed and shit like that and i think it's because of all of the like shame that's out there without even like realizing it, like even in motivational content, there is shame in that there is guilt tripping. Um, it's not always gentle when you might need it to be gentle because, you know, people be going through shit. Like you have no idea. This is be getting hit by cars. This is be getting fucking beat up, arguing with really important people in their lives and fucking like shit really goes down. You know, people lose their jobs. Shit happens for real. And uh, so much is out of our control, right? So that there comes a point where when you're trying to control all the things in your life, such as exercise or such as, you know, having a proper diet, and then some shit goes wrong externally, it's going to affect you. And it's kind of just like that motivational content from when you were not dealing with a heavy stressor is not hitting the same when you are dealing with the heavy stressor and you're sitting here trying to figure out why you're a little bitch, like how they described in the video. Meanwhile, you have an extreme circumstance going on or you're being triggered every day when you go to work or like you have shit going on, right? And so because of this, I guess maybe you could say it's because so many things are not trauma informed. Um, you're not receiving what you need, whatever emotional need that it is. You Maybe you're not expressing. Maybe you need hugs and encouragement from people that are close to you, but you don't have that. 
Maybe it's that, you know, you are just sad as fuck. Maybe you're actually physically fucking burnt out. Maybe you overworked the past two days in the gym. But you're thinking that you have to go hard every day when really you probably just need to stretch for a few days. Um, but you're thinking, bro, I have to be skinny. Oh. And that's all you can think about. So then what ends up happening is you get so overwhelmed that you just stop doing everything. You let everything kind of fall shit. Rather than just doing the two and three things that you can do. I've been there. I sometimes am there. Maybe I'm here. Maybe I'm here today. Maybe I am. Um, but that whole profession is the enemy of progress. Makes a lot of sense to me. It hits now. I get it now. Because um, I'm kind of realizing that just because shit is going wrong, just because I'm fucking up some days. Some days I didn't go to the gym. Some days I didn't go at 5 a.m. Um, like yesterday, I think I went at like 7.05, stayed till like 7.50. Um, that's not 5 a.m., you know what I'm saying? But it is what the fuck it is. I went to the gym. I still made it happen. But there was that part of me that was like, well, maybe I should just stay inside and like go later. Or like, maybe I should just not go. Like, I still have that voice that just wants to be chilling, calm and all that shit. But I'm starting to realize how much it affects my confidence. And more so than just like, more so than just like, uh, oh, I have to be skinny. I have to be skinny. I have to be skinny. I'm kind of just like, I hate feeling unconfident. So whenever I feel like I want to just stop doing all this shit, I kind of try to remind myself like, hey, what's the alternative? You know what I'm saying? The alternative is feeling like shit forever, except you're starting over again, trying to build habits. When you could at least go to the gym. Like, I've had a few days where I had to just be stretching like stretching and that's it but it's the habit the discipline in getting up and going right and i'm sure i'm still trying to work out the kinks because it's 5 a.m i'm not in the gym right now i'm about to go to the gym but i'm chatting to you eating a frittata having some try because i'm trying to see if maybe if i nourish first that goes better like what's gonna give me my best results because Sometimes I go to the gym and I'm, my stomach's feeling fucked up. Like, my stomach feels fucked up a lot. I need to sort this out. But, um, <laughs> I need to sort this out. It's true, though. But, yeah. It's not perfect. And something that also helped me last night was there's this girl that makes these 5 a.m. morning routine videos. And she'll show, like, she takes her dogs out, she goes to the gym, she's, like, typing on her computer or whatever, and just, like, being productive, and she's an entrepreneur and all this shit. And there was this one uh, video last night that I saw where she was holding this key, and she said she had her first tenant, and I was like, see, that's the type of shit that I'm trying to be on for real. And I was like, yeah, I fuck with that. Like, you're healthy, your skin is glowing, your hair looks phenomenal. Like, you have this nice-ass apartment, you have nice shit, you eat good food, you work for yourself, like, you take care of your shit, and you're a country creator. There was something where she was performing as well. I was like, are we the same person? What is this? What are we chatting about? What is this? <laughs> no, but, yeah, man, like, I make music, bro. I make music, for real. And I make these vlogs as well, because I'm like, I gotta take people along on the journey and hopefully inspire as I do that. Um, and... You know, man, it's just not, sometimes, sometimes I have more energy than other times, but I'm just clinging on. I'm clinging on, and I'm really bearing down on being disciplined and doing it on purpose as well, because I really am starting to see how my habits are going to take me to what I want. I used to try to, I'll wrap it up in a moment, y'all, but um, I used to try to take on that I'm an artist I don't need a routine like I need to be creative and I saw this uh video pop up on my feed the other day talking about why I stopped being disciplined as a creative entrepreneur I saw it and I, I shook my head I shook my head 
and I was just like, well, I've been there, fam. Like, I was there for a long, long time. You never know. I could get back there and then have to get back away from it. I'll be right back. I have to come back out of that again. But I read something last year, um, thanks to Mr. Sean's Book Club, and it was called the... Um, why can't I think of the name? The Four something. Oh my God, I can't think of it. But it talks about lead measures when you have a goal and how it's your lead measures that's gonna take you towards your goal. Not just sitting and fucking manifesting and like hoping and shit like that. Like it's the things that you're actively doing. It's not even just your plan. It's just the, it's the things that you're doing that will take you towards what you want. And when you think about it, it's literally A plus B equals C. So I'm drinking this fucking sugary ass chai right now, right? There's gonna come a point in the day where my blood sugar lowers down again, right? If I don't give myself some sustenance in that time frame, then I'm gonna be a little grouchy because A plus B equals C, right? If I continue to not work on music for months and months and months. I'm not gonna make any progress with music. Surprise? No, it's not a surprise. If I don't post any fucking YouTube videos um, consistently, consistently, I'm not gonna make any progress on this channel. However, I'm putting out videos every week consistently. If I do that, it doesn't matter if it takes me 10 years. I mean, I'll be upset a little. But even if it took me 10 years, I'm, there's no way in hell. There's no way in hell that I'm not going to get somewhere to where I want and be able to leverage that into even more of what I want. And I want to continue doing this. Like, this is not a, okay, I'll just do it for a year and then I'll stop. And, like, I'll use that money to, like, no. I love this. This is, like, part of my legacy. This is part of my, when I when I die, y'all can see what the fuck I was chatting about. You know what I'm saying? I love that so much. This will be on the internet forever. Um, I love that. I really, really do. My stomach's chatting. Maybe it's because of the, um, the egg thing, frittata. I don't know. My stomach sometimes needs eggs, sometimes hates eggs. I don't know, bro. I went vegetarian. I'm having a hard time because sometimes chicken looks delicious, but then I think about how, ma how it made my stomach feel. And I'm like, I'm good. I don't even know how it digested in my system. I don't know. I don't know. But I'm probably, I don't know. I'm probably eating chicken again at some point in my life. Just not right now. Maybe I won't. I don't fucking know. Um, I don't know. Um, back to what I was saying. The lead measures, right? What I'm doing towards what I want will take me there. So, with exercise. I want to look a little bit more muscular. I want to look a little more athletic, right? Me sitting on my ass every morning and asking God to make me look athletic. I'm not going to build these muscles. My favorite, favorite story from the Bible. La roca de como vibra. Okay? The immovable rock. God told him to push the rock right and he was like god what you chatting about i don't understand i don't understand right he was like i told you to push the rock god said i told you to push the rock so he pushed the rock every day and the rock didn't move it did not move and he was like god why go on? why go on with this rock team you told me to move it but you're not letting me move it why go on? He was like, boy, I told you to just do your fucking job and push the motherfucking rock, okay? Okay. So finally, it gets to me one day, and bro is like, I'm charging all of these things. I'm charging it. He pushed the rock all day. He's like, bro, I'm over it. I'm over it. Letting this go. Charging this. And then um, he goes back, and he's like, God... you tell me to push the rock <laughs> if you knew I wasn't capable of moving it <laughs> right and then he was God was like oh 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 you're saying that 
you're saying that I had you do the impossible. Like, what? God was like, oh, okay. Well, look at your arms. They're strong. Look at your back. Strong. Look at your legs. Strong. He said, I told you to push the rock, not move the rock. Now you sit back and I will move the rock. Oh! That is so hard. That's so hard. Like that is the hardest story from the Bible. I fucking, I love, I love that, right? I feel like that is such a great example of what happens with discipline and consistency, right? Because this is what I've seen. It's it's a pattern I've seen in other people's success. People talking about how success is not linear. But when you're doing something consistently, like, that shit's gonna add up, you know what I'm saying? Clink, 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 boom, it's gonna come together. Um, but yeah, I've seen in a lot of people's successes that they do something consistently they keep doing that and they keep doing it consistently again and again with discipline. And then at some point, like they'll make some progress. They'll make some progress, yes. They keep doing it consistently no matter what. Just keep going, keep going. And then at some point, something really big happens. Like big, big. And I see that happen with shits and gigs, for example. Like, all right, I gotta stop talking. I'm chatting. But all right, this was my last example. Um, no, it probably fucking won't. This is important. Shits and Gigs was posting, 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 posting. Great content. Wonderful. They're fucking hilarious. Um, for like, what? Two years? Three years? And then I remember when I found them, which is like, I think they're at 100k? Or maybe they were just under 200k, right? I was watching them for months, 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 right? And then, at the end of 2023, like, I was trying to fucking tell my coworkers about saying raw, like, way earlier in the year. I was like, oh, yeah, I found these dudes. They're always like, raw, whoa, what? And, like, <laughs> and they were fucking laughing at me because I was, like, saying that. But now, it's more common knowledge because people know who they are. Um, but they kept posting. They didn't say, oh, my God, we're only at 200K. It's been three years. Oh, my God. Like, they didn't do that. They kept, 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 kept. Kept, 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 kept posting, kept, 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 kept posting, kept, 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 kept posting, right? And so then they had a big, big, big breakthrough, like of the hitting the one mil, um, and then starting their other channel and immediately doing really well with that. And like they got all these fucking awards and shit, like what the fuck, right? But it's not like they set out like, yeah, let's make sure we get these five fucking awards in one year. Like, they didn't even write that shit down. But what happened was they created something that was really good and were consistent with it. Consistent, 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 consistent. And they were pushing the rock. Do you, you know what I'm saying? So now the blessings are showering down and they're like, what? Because they were just pushing the rock. But they're getting strong. You know what I'm saying? Like, so... I think that that's what I'm trying to say about like consistency with my exercise, consistency in your life. Like if you want to be a typist and you need to fucking stretch your fingers or some shit, stretch your damn fingers, little fuck. <laughs> <laughs> I need to be more, you know, consistent with music, for example. So even if it's like five minutes a day, I'm making a beat. Something needs to happen. I need to make that shit happen, which is part of why I'm up at 5 a.m. because I need to make more time in my day when my willpower is not depleted from work anyways i have to go i will see you all in berlin i'm finally going to the gym this is the fit this is the fit it's not very feminine necessarily i would say but girl it is what it is hair i just washed it last night excuse me so it's a little it looks a little thin y'all we working on that but it does have definition and it tends to puff up over time and I oiled the hell out of it. Like there's literally an oil stain that's gigantic on my pillow. <laughs> it is what it is. <laughs> We're gonna go to the gym. We're gonna go to the gym. I'm feeling good, I'm feeling calm. I think it's the chai and the food. I'm feeling not like I'm dying today, which is not usually how I feel. I usually feel like I'm dying right now. 
but I don't feel like that. So maybe I do need to wake up and eat, take that, I guess, hour, fucking wake the fuck up a little bit. Um, I don't have to, like, force that. I know it's chatting, y'all. That's part of why I'm running late. But, um, yeah, I think it was for the best. It was great. I'm listening to, like, Arjeet sing songs. I didn't know this, man. Like, I'm listening to what, Junka? I did not know that was him. I just heard the song. I was like, this is fire. The same thing happened with Le Aunga. I was like, ooh, what is this? This is good. And then, then I go, I, I listen to the song. I've been listening to the song a few different times. I go to the comment sections. I see Arjeet Singh comments on it. And I was like, oh, cool. He's being supportive of other artists. That's dope. And then I go down a little further this time. And I was like, wait a second. Why are people talking about Adi Sin? I go back up. It's this man singing the song. This man, how is he this fucking good? How is he everywhere? And how is he that good? Like, he'll be having the best song in every single game that I'm beating. Very tempting. Oh, I forgot I was vlogging today. I almost cheated on you and talked to my story instead. I watch the TV. Like, I don't know if this is okay, for real. Like, I know I'm learning Hindi, I'm learning Telugu, I know I want to learn all this stuff, but also, like, I haven't been creating very much as a recent. Um, I have a couple of days off next week, and it's spring break, and a bunch of my coworkers are, like, doing shit, you know what I'm saying? Like, how people actually, like, live their lives and shit. I have often done this thing where I'm like, well, I need to save, right? But then I'll have my times where I'm like spurging and whatnot, whatever. I have always wanted to travel. I want to see the world. That's why, I mean, I'm watching fucking Hindi movies. A black girl in America just randomly. Like, you know what I mean? I really love seeing people that are different from me and seeing how we're similar and like, just finding all the fun little things that I didn't know existed like it's just cool I really like it like so much um so how have I not traveled like how is it that I haven't made the effort to travel even with the vlogs like a big part of it was cool you'll work a job so that you can fund cool shit to do on the vlogs why did my teeth like that Cool shit to do on the vlogs, right? But I haven't been doing that much. You know what I mean? I've just been saving because I'm like, well, I need to save. And like, it's like, yeah, you need to save. But girl, can you live? You know what I'm saying? <sighs> what if I saved a certain number? And once I hit that number, still save 10%. But travel on purpose. What if we did that? Yeah, I um had a funny moment just now. I was in the shower and I like had a flashback of earlier today and I was like, oh my god, did I not put cream in her coffee? And I was like actually worried. Like, oh my god, like she fucking ordered cream. I don't think I put it on the ticket and like what if it caused a commotion and like there was people that were mad and she thought I was like da da da. And I was just like, Alma, you're here right now. Alma, you're here right now. Why are you thinking about this? Am I the only person that does that? And then I had a flashback of like my life. I thought about my name and like wanted to cry. And I was like, whoa. Like, <laughs> I think it's because I found, um, I was Googling Kata because as soon as I saw it on this movie I'm watching, I was like, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. It's giving ballet. And I know that, you know, white people invaded India and, you know, fucked up everything as they have done with so many, with everyone else, actually. <laughs> yeah, everyone, even islanders, everyone. Um, So I was like, hmm, it's giving ballet. And I'm like, this has to be the origin of ballet. So I was trying to find anything that made the connection before. I didn't see anything. So I charge it for now. I spent like a long, like at least 20 full minutes trying to figure that shit out. Um, anyways, ciao. Cause I be connecting the motherfucking dots. I really do. Um, uh, what was I saying though? 
Oh yeah, I saw the name Sadir Atam, and it looked like my name at first, Sadira, my middle name. Why am I telling him like Gov? I thought you're not already, but my name's Sadira. And I thought about like how I haven't heard my name in so long, and I was like, oh my god, if somebody called me that right now, I would probably cry. Um, cause I just had a flashback of like my fucking life, and I was like, Ugh. and I was like, Alma, no, you're here right now. Ah! My head is swirling, swirling. I've been training so many people at work. Um, my head is like, I want to fucking go to India and travel and shit, and I want my life to be different, but I'm not like making the songs. You know what I mean? Like, what we doing? I'm right here watching TV. You know what I'm saying? I'm not actually in India, so I'm like. I gotta shake something up, you know what I'm saying? Like, I haven't I haven't been performing either. What am I doing? Like, I'm not mad at myself. I don't feel like I'm doing something entirely wrong, but maybe I am. Maybe I'm missing something that's right in front of me. I don't know. Also, I don't have love. I'm going to Washington, D.C. Oh yes, back to what I was saying earlier. So everyone's going and doing shit and i was like yo i have two days off i don't know when i'm gonna have any time off again soon until like summertime and even then i'm having to figure out what the fuck i'm gonna do with money and all of this shit let's just go to washington dc i've been wanting to go just feeling like i should go and then i saw this thing with blue bottle coffee out there in washington dc and it's like the closest store to me and I really want to go. Like, I really, I like, literally, I know it sounds crazy. I want to go to have coffee. <laughs> like, literally to have coffee. <laughs> so I'm going to go to Blue Bottle. Like, that's really what the fucking move is. For real, for real. Going to Blue Bottle. And I might go to, um, I was reading Pour Your Heart into it a little bit today. While I was in the resty. And <laughs> I, um... <laughs> I saw that they had like this place at um, Friendship Something. It was like the first store in Washington, D.C. And I was like, ooh, does that still exist? I forgot to Google it. But I'm like, oh, shit, I might go there. Like, I'm trying to see what it is. I'm trying to see what's up. You know what I'm saying? And I might literally just go. I booked my ticket there, taking a bus, the Grand. A little scared, hella scared. But, you know, fuck it. I'm 22. I'm just a baby. I'm so young. I don't want to be somebody who's like old and sad. I didn't travel when I was young. I keep hearing people say like, oh man, I should have traveled before I like settled down. And like, I should have traveled before. Like, I should have traveled when I was younger. And they'll say like, even if you don't have a lot, like just go, just travel and shit like that. So I'm like, I need to listen. Let me actually listen for real. Like, maybe I need to just listen to what they're saying heed those wise wiser words wiser words Ooh, i fuck with that wiser words i like that a lot what's i saying oh yeah so i booked my trip i booked the ticket for how got the airbnb i'm staying at some guy's house scary as fuck but i read the reviews and all the reviews like some of them were from ladies um and they looked like they were solo traveling like there wasn't another guy in the picture there was a couple from guys, but um, it was like pretty ladies too. Like I know that sounds w wild, but like if I'm about to stay in a man's house, I need to know that like this man is not a creep. <laughs> so if I see all these pretty ladies saying, "Oh yeah, I felt very safe. I felt I felt safe. I felt you know blah blah blah, taken care of da da da," and they're not saying anything like he was so scary or like mm, I was like they're not saying anything like that, and I'm like cool. Whew, then I can do it, right? I can I can stay there. So I'm scared still a little bit. But um honestly I think I hope it'll go well. I'm I'm thinking oh no. No 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 that's my light. I'm thinking we can go to the botanical gardens. I'm not one hundred percent sure. Literally my, I'm worried that I'll take the bus there and be so exhausted because I'm working the day <laughs> like i don't even know how i'm gonna oh, i'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to uber and like all this stuff oh my god anyways what was i saying also i don't know what time my check-in is i'm literally gonna have to like i have to sleep on the bus there and if i don't i just hope i don't get like a headache and like fucking be fucked up you know 
I really don't want that. I'm not trying to be awake for like 48 hours either. Or 72 hours. Like, I'm not trying to pull that shit yet. That's like some shit I'm trying to do when I'm more famous. Like, the thing Lil Wayne said about like, I've been awake for something. Like, I'll do it then. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'll do it later. But right now... Nah, I'm good. I don't want to be awake for that long. But also, like, girl, you're young. It's okay if you're a little tired or whatever. Like, do something. Make something shake. Do something. But also, I was like, man, I want to be around people. I want to party. But I don't want to drink. I don't. And I don't want to be around people drinking either. I feel so, uh, you know, like, I want to be. I want to party. Uh, but I don't want to drink, bro. I don't want to be around it, and I don't want to smell weed, I don't want to smell none of that, but I do want to party. So I just, I have to change the world. Anyways. <laughs> so yeah, booked it, booked that shit. It's going to be like uh, two days, one night. It's actually two day, one night in Washington, D.C. We're going to come back and fucking go to work the next day. The ticket I booked home was from 5.40 p.m. to like 4 a.m. So I go to work at 8. So, yeah. Wish me luck. things to be different. Like, I don't want to... Even like... I have said this before. I'll say it a million times. I fucking love my Indian coworkers so much. Like... They're so brave to fucking come all the way to uh, the U.S. Like, that shit is cool as hell to me. And they just inspire me. Like, it's... The mindset that it takes to even do something like that is crazy. Like, it's something that, you know, we don't always, like... Not everybody would think of some shit like that, you know? I mean, taking out these loans to a different country, bro. That's some other shit. I just think they're so cool. And I just want to be cool as fuck, too. You know? I just want to be cool. I want to be somebody that I really admire. I want to be someone that I'm like, yo, I respect her so much. Like, I want to be somebody where I look at myself and I'm like, I don't even know how she does it. I don't know how she did that. I want that to be me. And so I need to do what it takes to make that happen. I've been waking up at 5 a.m., working out, drinking one gallon of water every day, upping my hygiene routine, like perfumes, um, you know, showering twice a day, et cetera, et cetera. Occasionally doing my edges, doing my makeup, stuff like that. Um, taking care of my hair, washing my hair regularly, moisturizing my hair, oiling my hair, like putting on lotion. Like these are things that I'm trying to become the best version of me and the best version of me travels. So yeah, I will see y'all in the next one because I don't know how long this vlog is and I'm kind of tired. I want to just watch this movie. Um, much love, much love. So much love. I love you so much. Should I sing for you? What jumka da 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 What jumka? Hi hi hi. Okay. I can't lie. You're the love of my life. Life's so far.